now jurors are split when it comes to the fate of a former ice cream truck driver accused of a nearly decade-old double murder. Aiden your size, Justin Shecker is joining us right now live from the Hillsborough County Courthouse. So what exactly is going on at this time, Justin? David and Stacy, good morning. The jurors from the Michael Keatley trial returned to the courtroom this morning and told the judge they are deadlocked. Their communication read as follows. The jury has reached a point in the deliberations where after much and thorough discussion and many votes, it is certain cannot reach a unanimous verdict. What would you like us to do? I know that all of you have worked hard to try to find a verdict in this case. It apparently has been impossible for you so far. The judge then read them the Allen charge. That's the formal instruction to go back and try harder to reach a verdict. Michael Keatley is charged with, charged with two counts of murder and four counts of attempted murder from a Thanksgiving Day 2010 shooting spree in Ruskin. He sat in jail nearly a decade waiting to stand trial. Prosecutors say his motive was revenge for being shot during a robbery of 12 bucks at his ice cream truck. After almost three weeks of testimony, deliberations began yesterday morning after Keatley waived his right to a closing argument. The mother of the slain brothers, Sergio Wangitron, and other survivors of the shooting are here in the courthouse, anxiously waiting to see what happens next. Now, if the jury remains deadlocked, the judge would declare a mistrial. Stay with Aiden on your side for updates throughout the day. Live at the Hillsborough County Courthouse, I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.